In the name of God, the compassionate, the merciful, uh, salams and salutations to all of the seekers of the truth and facts. Uh, in this series of lectures, we talked about an important issue in the history of Islam, and that's marriage of Lady Aisha and her age in time of this marriage, which uh, some controversies are made against it, and some of the famous narrators, uh, they registered the age of this lady about six years or nine years, and uh, this made a kind of uh, subject for enemies of the Prophet to say that uh, he was interested in child marriage. Uh, but we investigated it and showed to the seekers of truth that this is not true. First of all, we mentioned the earliest narrations in this regard. Then we mentioned the narrators and evaluated them and showed the doubts around the narrators and the narration and then try to find methods and ways, rational methods and ways, to verify the age uh, of a lady in the time of marriage. Amongst the methods and means is uh, the mm, exact date of marriage, to find it and compare it with the age of birth and conversion. Also, uh, to find the age of the lady in comparison with the age of the lady in time of conversion to Islam. Another way to compare her age to age of her sister Asma, and also to the age of lady in time of death and departure of this world. Now we are in last part of this series of lectures, and we are going to find another fact that was this lady in the time of marriage a virgin lady or not? Uh, this is the last uh, way and method which can help us in verification of the age. Now we start in the sixth episode or sixth part of these lectures. Uh, according to the uh, previous ways, we found that the age should be about 18 in time of marriage. But in this part, um, and answering to this question of virginity of this lady in time of marriage, we depend on famous narrations in this regard. Uh, first of all, it was very um, suspicious that a girl like Aisha does not marry up to this age, about 18 years old, because normally Arabs were making their girl girls to marry in earlier age, like 9 or 10. And when we look at the books of history and hadith, we find uh, at least two narrations that indicate and approve that Lady Aisha was not virgin in time of marriage. One of them is from Abu Dawood, book of Sunan, Sunan Abu Dawood. Uh, he narrates like this in Arabic. The text in Arabic is like this. Lama tazawwaja biha, means Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Lama tazawwaja biha, aqama indaha thalathan. Thumma qal, laysa bika ala ahlik. Huwa in shi'tu sabba'at. Wa kana Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, iza tazawwaja al-bikr, aqama indaha sab'an. Wa iza tazawwaja al-thayyib, aqama indaha thalathan. So he says that when the glorious prophet married uh, this lady, stayed with her only three nights. And this was a kind of habit of the glorious prophet, that if he married a virgin girl, stayed with her seven nights. But with Aisha, stayed only three nights and told, it is not against you. If I like, I can stay with you uh, seven nights. But stayed with her only three nights. You can find this narration in Sunan of Abi Dawood, the chapter for Nikah, marriage, and the part of Fil Muqam in Dal Bikr, staying with the virgin girl. The hadith number 2124. And this hadith clearly indicates that Aisha was not a virgin girl, because the Prophet uh, did not stay with he, her seven nights. 
and Prophet was normally staying with virgin girls seven nights. Uh, the, the second um, issue which uh, verifies that lady was not virgin in the time of marriage was that Aisha was candidate for another marriage before her marriage to the glorious prophet. And the name of the person who was supposed to marry the lady is even registered in the books of Hadith and history. That person was Jubair, was Jubair ibn Mat'am. Jubair ibn Mat'am was the guy which was supposed to marry Lady Aisha. You can find this fact in At-Tabaqat al-Kubra by Ibn Sa'd, uh, the page 529. And also Al-Isaba, volume 4, the page 356. And uh, all of the uh, narrators of Ahl Sunnah, they mention that uh, when Abu Bakr wanted to immigrate to Abyssinia, eight years before immigration to Medina, went to the house of Mat'am, father of Jubair, the guy, and told him that I want to send my girl to his uh, husband's house. But he and his son, they rejected to accept Lady Aisha, and <coughs> they uh, inval invalidated the contract of marriage. So, means that Aisha was supposed to marry another person. So, she should be in, a, in age of marriage, at least eight years old, nine years old, in this date, which is eight years before Hijra. And because she married to the Prophet in the first year of Hijrah or the second year of Hijrah, so means that um, at least nine plus eight plus one means that she was 18 years old in the time of marriage with the glorious Prophet of Islam. Uh, we cannot say that Aisha uh, had a kind of uh, illegal uh, relation with others, but this is indication from the reliable sources. And if we want to bring all of the indicators and the proofs and evidences for her age, it becomes uh, a book, a book in hundreds of pages. And we cannot make this research here with you. So those who are investigators, researchers, seekers of the truth, and want to find the real truth, uh, we beg them please go through the resources and make a calculation amongst uh, all of the contradictory narrations and opinions and find the truth by yourself. Thank you very much. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.